Hello students, welcome to Infinity IAS. Today we will look into the second part of Election Commission. We will start from the condition of the office. As we have already seen, Election Commission has one Chief Election Commissioner and two other Election Commissioners. So, the condition of these office is that they have equal powers and receive equal salary, allowances and other perquisites which are similar to those of a judge of the Supreme Court. So, when it comes to prelims, this is what is important. They have equal powers and salaries and those are similar to the judge of the Supreme Court. Then, they hold office for a term of 6 years or until they attain the age of 65 years. So, for prelims, we have to remember it's a term of 6 years or until they attain the age of 65 years. So, next comes independence of the body. This is a concept which we have to understand. Why do election commission needs to be independent? So, election commission conducts elections to both central and state legislatures. If the election commission is not independent and it can be influenced by the ruling party at the center or in the state, the elections won't be free and fair, which is a part of the basic structure of our constitution, free and fair elections. So, to ensure free and fair elections, the election commission needs to be independent. So, what are the conditions that make election commission independent? Here, the chief election commissioner is provided with a security of tenure. That means, the chief election commissioner will be appointed by the president, but he cannot be terminated or asked to leave the position when the president so desires. He can only be removed by the procedure prescribed by the parliament. So, this ensure he can function without the influence of the government of the day. So, the other thing, the service conditions which we have seen such as the salaries, the term cannot be changed, cannot be varied to the disadvantage after his appointment. That means even if the ruling party or the government doesn't like the election commissioner, they cannot decrease his term from 6 years to 3 years after he is appointed. So, he, they might change the term but no, only after the serving election commissioner has completed his term. So, that ensure that the election commissioner can function independently. And then coming to other election commissioners or the regional commissioners, they cannot be removed from their office except on the recommendation of the chief election commissioner. So, even when it comes to other election commissioners, or the regional commissioners, the president can appoint but cannot remove on his own will. He has to consult the chief election commissioner. This ensures that they function impartially and independently. So, we have seen certain conditions that have been given in the constitution to ensure the independence of election commission. But there are certain gaps that are observed in this independence of the commission, such as the constitution has not prescribed the qualifications that are required to be appointed as election commissioners. So, this leaves some gap for the government or the president to choose whom to appoint as election commissioners. And then, the constitution has not specified the term of the members of the election commission. So, the term can be changed by the president and it is not fixed by the constitution. So, this leaves some gap to ensure complete independence of the election commission. Then comes the constitution has not debarred the retiring election commissioners 
for further appointment by the government. This means the election commissioners that retire from the election commission can be appointed by the government of India later on. So this leaves a gap in the independence of the commission such that the election commissioners might be influenced by the posts that can be offered by the government after their retirement. So this decreases the independence of the commission. That brings us to the end of election commission as a topic. Thank you.